Is he a Christian? You hear that question then. Is he a Christian? Oh, I'm sure he believes. What do you mean? Because Jesus counts disciples. He doesn't count intellectual assent, does he? You're looking at me as if I'm saying something outrageous, and I'm not. I'm not. He counts people who follow him. That's why, Matthew 28, in the Matthew's Gospel, we're back in the Gospel again, he says, go to all the world and make church. Yeah, thanks. You want, to, you want to cut to the chase, don't you? I'm cutting to the chase. He says, go make disciples. Don't mess about. That's what counts. That's what we count. We don't count... I get this question a lot. People say, how's the work in Shandaila? Yeah, the little work. Yeah, it's fine, thank you. We're lovely. Yes, it's great. We're very encouraged. We are. But, that's what you're supposed to say, isn't it? And the next question is, how many do you have? And I say, don't ask me about quantity. Ask me about quality. Or when people say about the work in, <laughs> in San Samuel, how many do you have? 100%. Because <laughs> all the eligible are on the books, aren't they? All the kids who could. Yeah? Well, they don't know quite what to do with that. And how many is that? Well, it is 12, 15, 16, maybe. How many on the books? I don't know. Does it matter? The ones that could be, that's it. But what we actually count, what we really must be concerned to count, because what we aim at getting to is followers of Jesus. And so as we day by day, by that relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit who comes in to bring it about and make it happen, are following Jesus.